The Higher Commercial Examination Program in Danish, Hojere Handelseksamen, abbreviated HHX, is a business-oriented education in Denmark. The three-year HHX program requires a completed nine-year folkskole primary education and offers general subjects in addition to business administration, economics, and foreign language. The HHX programs are offered at the business colleges, of which there are approximately 50 distributed all over the country. The HHX program Admission requirements The three-year HHX program builds on to the tenth year of the folk school or similar. All pupils, who have received the relevant teaching and passed the prescribed examinations, can continue in an upper secondary program more or less of their own choice. Access is however not totally free to the general upper secondary programs. If a school finds that the pupil and his or her parents do not take the guidance provided serious, and that there is a risk that the pupil cannot meet the requirements of the general upper secondary programs, the pupil may be recommended to sit for an admission test to one of the general upper secondary programs. <laughs> <laughs> Levels and age groups The HHX program described here is a three-year program, of which the introductory part comprises the aims of the combined first and second school periods which the college offers as part of the vocational education and training program in the field of commerce, clerical trades and public administration. The three-year program caters for the 16- to 19-year-olds and is divided into years with a certain number of obligatory and optional subjects of both a general and a vocational nature. Topic. Branches of study, specialization The three-year program comprises a certain number of obligatory upper secondary subjects such as Danish, English, second foreign language and business economics, as well as a number of specialized subjects such as sales, information technology, international economics, contemporary studies, commercial law, vocational education subjects, including a project as well as a wide range of optional subjects such as mathematics, continuation language, beginner language, cultural understanding, design, media knowledge, psychology, mathematics, environmental studies, EU and international economic cooperation, business economics, sales, etc. <laughs> General objectives It is the aim of the course to provide general and commercial vocational upper secondary education which qualify the students for admission to higher education upon completion of the course and which contributes to the young person's personal development and to their understanding of society and its development with special emphasis on the conditions of trade and industry. The programs furthermore provides a partial basis for occupational employment and qualifies for a reduction of the period of schooling in a vocational education and training program in the same field according to the provisions applying to this effect. Curriculum, subjects, number of hours The students contribute to the more detailed planning of the content of the teaching and the choice of working methods in the individual subjects. In the three-year HHX program, the obligatory subjects altogether comprise 2,190 lessons, and the optional subjects comprise 900 lessons. The subjects can be taken at three levels, A, B and C, with A as the highest level. The language subjects can be taken at beginner or continuation level requiring two to three years instruction at the previous level. The students must choose a two-year optional subject in mathematics, level B or a foreign language, level C or B in the third year. The student must choose three to four optional subjects, of which two must be at level A, beginner language however level B. Methods. 
The teaching is based on vocational theory and method and on practical vocational conditions. The aim of the program of being a preparation for higher education studies must be reflected in the organization of the teaching, and teaching methods must be used which develop the independence of the students and their ability to argue, generalize and make abstractions. The teaching is organized so that the subjects support each other with a view to creating an appropriate and equal distribution of the workload of the students. Topic: <laughs> Pupil evaluation. Students are given marks for the year's work on the basis of their performance in class and homework. During the last four weeks of the first year of the three-year program, the students sit for end-of-the-year examinations. One end-of-the-year examination is held as an interdisciplinary project, and one to two of them are held in subjects according to decision taken by the school. The examinations proper are held at the end of the program. The school sends the students up for examination at the end of the program. A student can normally only be registered for the final examination, if he or she has participated in the instruction, has handed in the written work and has had it approved by the teachers concerned. Oral and or written examinations are held in almost all of the subjects. The student's performance at the individual examination is assessed by the teacher, examiners and external examiners appointed by the Ministry of Education. Topic. Certification When the students have completed all the examinations at the end of the third year, the college issues a certificate indicating all the marks obtained by the students at the examination and in the year's work. The Ministry of Education decides on the design of the certificate. Topic. External links Information about HHX at the Danish Ministry of Education Danish.